take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith would be me stronger in the presence of my Savior Spirit, lead me when my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my Savior Yeah. Okay, nobody online yet. Oh, the people waiting. Do you need any help? I see you up and down. Yeah, I've lost a, I've lost a couple of calories right now. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Everything's done. Online people. I don't know how we're going to do this. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Tando. Let me try to adjust the volume. Hi. 
Can you guys hear us fine? Excellent, excellent. And you can see everybody. Maybe you guys can turn on your videos. If you don't mind, so everyone can see you. There we go. Hey, Tando. I'm <laughs> I'm not shedding, so yeah. And Matello, and you've got Cersei. Hey guys, uh, welcome, welcome. My guest, please. Honestly, maybe the network. Yeah. Is it All right, we're just doing final touches, and then we're gonna get started. Good. 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 Uh, we know it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You are in I'm not going to connect the team. Just okay. There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than 8 o'clock yeah. one. You know? Yeah. That's, a, that's the worst one. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. Just go to bed. You guys have yeah. snacks and, and drinks, okay? So. Thank you to jump up anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, onlineers, no snacks for you. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe how many of you are in this? Make sure that everybody. There's a second. I'll just zoom up. All right, zoom up. And it's so nice to see everyone in person. Boy, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Well, that kind of question was long. Hey, with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I think this is talking about the technology. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna turn gonna... up the volume if it's loud enough. Okay. Um. But it's on Max, but. Hey, it's not on Max, my love. I just put it Max. Hi, hi, Masesi. Hi, Innocentia. I see you guys. You guys well? Hi. Hi, we're uh, uh, good. Yes. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. okay, um, maybe. Okay. Uh, I have no idea, guys. The first time I do this. <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap it up the best way I can. Wing it. Wing it. <laughs> After facilitator today. Yeah. So we have, we have we have a couple sharing the web, so we are facilitating. So um, it's not planned, it's not written down, so. I don't know. Of course, I'm not throwing it the <laughs> Well, um, so good to see everyone in person. Just, yeah. just move around. Um, good to see all smiley faces. You guys are still healthy and happy. Praise God. Yeah. And online, us, thank you for joining us as well. So today is really um, very special. So it's the first time ever in Skype group we're going to do Bible study in person. Ooh. So we are going to do 2023, hardcore, you know, what's the word, like, storming happened in 2023, that's the word. I want to change my coat. Wow, many times. So I, I think it's good that we are doing it because uh, majority voted like once. Mm -hmm. So let's just see how that goes. And obviously we'll adjust as time goes. But otherwise, we are so privileged. Today we'll be hearing from the Myanmar's. So today we're going to hand over to you guys and you're just going to dive in. Not I know we're going to have a problem, but not yet. No, I'm, I'm just saying today we'll be hearing from them. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay, you want to add something? No, no, that did. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I wanted to get something in. I'm sorry, just have my phone. Um, I wanted to say it's our first time. Thank you guys for coming in today. So um, we're going to start by introducing ourselves. Yeah. And I'm sure online we've done that. One of the guys for us. <laughs> so, okay. My name is Blue. My kind of. First I am Molly. Um, yeah, I usually say the wife calls me Molly. And if it's the I say name is Mutate. Hi, Sandra. Nice I'm Tony. I'm Alan Zura. 
then later on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. And then online, introduce yourself, please. I am Tando Innocentia. Okay, I'm a Susan. Okay, hi. Hey, uh, hey. Hi, Tando. <laughs> All right, over to the next family. I think it's Ceci. Ceci, is it Masesi? Yeah. All right, introduce Hello. yourself. Yes, we can hear Hello, you. Hello, Emma. I, I can't turn on my video. No worries. No worries. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm I'm Masesi. Masesi. Hi, Masesi. Hi, Masesi. Hi, Tato. Hi, Hi Lana. Awesome. All right, there's one it's more person. Introduce yourself. Miss Hi, Tina. everyone. Hi. Hi. All right. I think. I think we've done uh, the introductions. So um, I'm just going to put it like this, guys. Um, we might be rushing home after this. So I'm not sure you, unfortunately, it's 10. So we're safe. And <laughs> we hope we are safe. So um, yeah, if you feel free, free to stand up, find yourself some drink. There's no time smart of saying we're eating after. So as we are. Yeah, make a circle bigger. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, we have all introduced ourselves, including the ones online. Uh, only the followers just arrived. Let them introduce themselves, and then, uh, and, and then, and yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Very good. Very good. I was like, I'm not going to click. Okay, guys, everyone just introduce himself. I could say, feel free to dish out each anytime in the tour. You don't have to wait for problem. Yeah. As we are discussing, it's not too good. Yeah, eat us at the time. Anyone yeah. can eat any time. They drink down as much as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the process. Right. Is that why we stood in there? Is that why you stood in there? Ah! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Let's start. Um, let's go pray for us. Let's kick off. Yeah, was... Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Alex prayed before. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Ellen, take it away. Oh. <laughs> nice. Thank you, mate. Thanks for that. Kind words. Hello. We thank you that we can join together. As a as a family, to, as a family, as friends, yeah, in your in your presence, Lord. Thank you for the special occasion tonight. We can be here in person, yes, with our with our online as well. So, and then, uh, we pray that you will break through tonight, break through to our hearts, break through to our minds, and we put all our other thoughts and work and stress and pain. We can focus on focus on your word and focus on learning tonight. Therefore, we pray for breakthrough tonight, Lord. We pray for through as we are fasting for breakthroughs that people are missing. We, we just pray for your hand. We pray for this protection. And all of us that are in prayer protection to get home safely. Up to sleep here. Please good night. Amen. 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 Right. Thank you. Um, I think I've said everything I needed to say. 
And those who are fasting some break at night, so you, they can eat as well. Let me get some good to drink. You have been saying it. <laughs> In my culture, it's it's legal. It's a yeah. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, no one is into Yeah, so <laughs> that's it's comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Molly, for breaking the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, how is fasting? Maybe ask them before I head on. How is fasting so far? Yeah. It's very good. It's two extremes at once. Very good, very good. Yeah. It's easier now than in the first week. Yeah. 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 First week was not a joke. Can you try this? <laughs> no, that's too much. Okay. It was very easy. Not easy. I think it's my desire that made me more like, I don't know how to put it. I was so hungry to do it that I didn't really feel like so heavy. Yes, I felt like I'm a bit deprived from stuff, so TV, all of that stuff I like. But I think my just my desire to be closer to God because I felt so out of place with my relationship with God. And then now on this second week, mm. I'm like, hey, I'm hungry, guys. <laughs> and so I want to eat. <laughs> and I'm joking, so it's like, yeah, it's done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome, Kumalos, uh, and uh, show and others. Um, to uh, we have already started. We're just checking on each other on how fasting has been going. All right. So, okay. So for me, uh, fasting has been. Uh, I've been doing like, oh, like yesterday. I took a break. Because we have an event in church, so uh, to nibble on meat. <laughs> I ate everybody's meat except for the vegetarian stuff. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so it's been um, hectic. hectic. You know, uh, what I do in the morning, I try to fast as I can, and then the point of the I can't wait to eat. <laughs> so, that's, that's how I've been. That's yeah. how, you know, I, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Mm. Uh, that's for me. Uh, last week I couldn't join, but I did intermittent fasting because I was traveling, yeah. and you know, traveling has got its own challenges. Yeah. But I told myself that I'm gonna start on Monday, which is this Monday, and I'm gonna do water fasting for mm -hmm. three days. So I did that, yeah, what I literally water fasting. But um, this afternoon, it was half, actually not around 12 o'clock. And I'm like, am I going to be able to go home? This dizziness, this headache, and even my steps were not stable. And I'm like, no, I can't. I'm, I'm, I don't want to fall yeah. uh, whilst I'm going to the car and all that, but I had to now drink, was it, Roy Boss, yeah. uh, just Roy Boss, and fortunately I had a checklist in my bag, then I had a checklist, then at least the strength came. So, but because it was my day to break uh, yeah. the, the water fasting, yeah, I it, it did well, and there was a breakthrough as well. There was something, and then God had to bring me online, you know. And I'm like, wow, you know. So, but I'm still continuing with the 21 days, although it's six to six now. Yeah. Yes. yes, but I'm still torn between should I do normal food or plant based, you know. <laughs> I'm playing on that. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's okay. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, very good. My sister, do you have to submit? No, no, no. It's still warming up. Great. Um, great. Um, just want to open up to you, the young ones. Uh, you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 But this is this is such an amazing um, privilege and platform. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. It's always amazing to share and learn and to share to break bread with everyone. 
Um, so this word, I got this word. Someone I always prepare separately. We don't usually prepare stuff together. So sometimes you might see we just share different segments, um, but it always links together somehow when we come together. It's like, oh, wow, well, that actually goes together. So that's what I got this time. So um, basically, I was um, I was actually doing something physical work when God showed this work to me, and I heard it so clearly. I was so playing in my head, and I even when I got home, I told him, and he was like, Ooh. Then I can maybe make no point on that. But like I think that I hope this word encourages everyone. It also comes from a very personal place. Like God was talking to me about a specific area in my life. And I think and I hope everyone can relate or also be encouraged. So I'm just gonna stand up. I don't know, it's just so we we in person, so it feels weird to submit. Um, so I just made some notes. I'm not going to be long, guys. Um, I'm not going to be very long. But today, the word that I have to share with you is um, <clears throat> called You Are In Training. That's the title of the lesson. It's called You Are In Training. Now, I have a short story to share. It's been a while since I've had a job. Like, I've been struggling to find work. So since lockdown, Micah was born a week before lockdown. So I was at home the whole entire time taking care of him. And then I started like an online teaching business where I started because I'm a teacher by profession. So I started uh, teaching preschoolers on Zoom. And it wasn't like a lot of money, but it was it made a difference. And it was so empowering because I was doing something for myself and that I'm passionate about, like work, because I couldn't find work at the time. And I remember. I got so overwhelmed at some point because Micah was a, like he was like 10 months old when I started and I would literally carry him on my back and go ahead and class and see because at the time he, he couldn't be alone or anything and my husband worked at the time. So I remember I got so overwhelmed and I felt so small and inferior because my friends were progressing, they were getting jobs, life was good for my friends, you know. Everyone was working, I was the only odd one out, and I felt so inferior. I started to look down on myself and feel like, um, like you know, I'm not working. People, what do people think of me? They probably think I'm just lazy, I just want to be at home and stuff. And honestly, you know, stay at home, mom, it's much harder than a nine to five because you know, you don't leave your work at work when you are stay at home, mom. You, Work to you. Stay at home. Yes. So um so morning hours. You never know. <laughs> so I started to look down on myself, started to feel a bit like depressed in a sense about this whole thing. And I even used to complain to my husband, you know, like I'm just a stay-at-home mom and everyone else is progressing. I used to be so ambitious when I was working. I had these dreams that I wanted to achieve and everything, and now I feel so stuck because I'm just a stay at home, you know. And while I was, I was doing something that uh, yesterday, God spoke to me, and He was like, "Everywhere that you are, you're in training." And He was like, "Whether you're a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad, whether you're a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, a biker." Whether you're a gamer, no matter where you are or what you're doing, you are in training for something. Yeah. And that something is to birth the glory of God. It's to paint a picture of who God is to the world. So that when people look at your life, they can say, wow, truly there's a living God. And this person is showing us now through their life, you know, that surely there's a living God. And basically, um, if you open your eyes, basically what I want to say to you is when, if you open your eyes just for one second in your life now, where you are, what you're doing with your life, and, and stop complaining, because I know we can get so caught up in complaints, you know, when is God going to do it for me? Why is it not showing up for me? When is my breakthrough coming? Why aren't I? Because I said those things, why aren't I getting a job? What's... Am I missing something? Am I not hearing God? Maybe God is screaming the thing at me and I'm not hearing you. And 
We complain, and God doesn't like complaints. In fact, complaining is a sin. Like, let's just go there. Like, it's a sin. Like, we're not supposed to be complaining as believers, right? And if we just stop for one second, to, to, if we stop complaining, I am certain that every one of us in this room will see an area in which God is training us in our lives yeah. to be better, to be wiser, to be stronger, and to display His glory, yeah. to display who Jesus is and what He did for us, because that's how the world is going to see Jesus through us, through our lives. And I said, yeah, if you if you want to be fully effective and efficient in anything you, and this was the Holy Spirit told me this exact line: if you want to be fully effective and efficient in anything that you do, stop complaining. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Like when you say, oh, I'm so tired of this job. Oh, when are they going to give me a raise? Can they like send us home earlier? But you know what? Just stop it. Because you have no idea what life means on the other end of your life. If you, if they, if God just took your job away from you now, what do you have? What do you have to sustain? He's your sustainer, but he blessed you with a job and you're complaining. He gave you a task and you're complaining all the way through. You're dragging your feet. Like, oh, I'm so tired. These people don't even appreciate me. You know what I mean? But what we're forgetting is that if you're truly doing something, you must do it from your heart. Yeah. Because even money can't make us do stuff from our hearts. Because we get paid for what we do, but we still drag our feet to them. We still do shortcuts. We still knock off early. You know, when you're supposed to knock off on time, you still will knock off early because the systems are down. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, we need to do stuff from the depths of our heart and we need to be intentional about everything we do because that's what will remind us who God is and why we're doing it. The Bible says do everything as though you're doing it unto the glory of God. Amen. Everything. It doesn't say specific things. It says everything. So how you, your posture when you go to work, if you're grateful, that shows that you're doing it unto the glory of God because you're thankful for your job. If you're going to school, you're not dragging your feet and saying, no, you're going to just cram all the way. You go there, you go with intention and you study, you know, in your marriage, in your family, you're being intentional with your children, how you speak to them, how you treat them. You're being intentional, you're being godly. And so I just want to encourage everyone, we should do stuff from the depths of our heart with so much intention. Take a moment and think about the things you're doing. That's what's going to draw you to this moment right now and make you realize the importance and how it should be done. Sure. And then I wanted to say that God sees our hearts when we do anything, and that's what he values. Because you might be here all the time, but inside, it's corruption happening here. Yeah. He looks at the heart. Yeah. So if he sees that you are struggling, but you try, yeah. that counts to you. Yeah. you know? Because the Bible also says in Matthew, then blessed are they that run hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be full. Mm -hmm. Hunger and thirst isn't actually being righteous, it's the desire. And God sees that desire as he honors that, honestly. And something else I wanted to say is that when Dave was managing sheep, he was in training to lead Israel. Yes. That story gets me every single time that David was a shepherd boy, a mm -hmm. teenager. A teenager leading sheep, that was his job. And I mean, if you think of a shepherd boy now on a farm leading sheep, you're probably going to think, and his brothers are fighting wars and killing and swords and all that. You probably think, wow, that little boy has the easiest job, right? But guess what? David risked his life to save sheep. He killed a lion and a bear. <laughs> he took a sheep out of a lion's mouth and he killed that lion with his bare hands. And you know what people didn't see at that time was that what God saw was a king ruling a kingdom and willing to fetch his people yeah. out of the lion's head and willing to fight war and battles of war. So, so when God looked at David, we all looked at David simply like, oh, shepherd boy, you know, overlooked. When Samuel went to go and anoint him, his father Jesse said, there's my sons. He never said, he, in fact, he minimized David so much that he said, it can't be that one in the field, being a shepherd boy, it definitely can't be him. So he already minimized David so much. But look at how upside down God's kingdom can be sometimes. 
the one that's overlooked tomorrow is the one that was actually what said that's the one I wanted. Yeah. Not them, none of them. When Samuel looked between the brothers, God said, Not him, not him, not him, not him. It's that one mm -hmm. in the field. So yeah. one shepherding sheep. And basically, when God saw David risking his life to go and save a mere sheep, I mean, how important are sheep? Guess what? God saw the character of Jesus in David because Jesus is the one who leaves the 99 to sure. save the one. So God saw Jesus' character in David, and that's why God anointed David as king. That's why God handpicked David as king. So what I want to say to everyone here is, no matter how small your position is, no matter how big your position is, the janitor and the CEO in the kingdom of heaven are equals. We are all equal. Each and every person's role in this room is equally important. None of us are more important than the other. Even online, no one's job, whether you pick up poop for a living and whether you run very high class companies and you travel overseas, no one is better than the other. No one is bigger than the other. In the kingdom of God, we are all equals and our roles are very, very, very important for God's plan. So I just want to encourage you, don't look down on yourself for where you are, because you are in training for a bigger purpose. God says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and to give you hope and a future. And how, how convenient is it that Jesus came from David's lineage? Years and years down the line, it was David's children's children's children. That's where Jesus came from. So it just shows you how strategic God is, you know. And um, yes, never underestimate your task, your life, your job, yeah. or the place that you find yourself in. Because in God's kingdom, sometimes things are upside down. Mm -hmm. People might see you as they're not even that good. People might say those things, but. God doesn't play those games with us. He says the first shall be last. And if you want to be first, then you humble yourself to the lowest of lows and you put everyone else above yourself. That's how you be first in the kingdom of God. So I just want to share three things. Three things you can do to realize and improve your mindset for your training. If you are taking notes, just three things. The first one is practice gratitude. Today, I heard a very powerful scientific fact that said, according to science, the brain cannot be grateful and worried at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you choose. You choose because the brain cannot worry and have gratitude at the same time. So if you practice gratitude, it's going to eliminate complaints from your life. It's going to eliminate worries from your life. So it's a, it's a muscle. You have to exercise it. Write down what you're grateful for. Train your brain how to be grateful naturally because we're not used to it. So you'll do it one day, then tomorrow you forget and you're not grateful. And then you're complaining and then you, you know. So practice gratitude by making a note in the morning, just writing at least three, even if it's three things that you're grateful for today. And when you feel a complaint coming, you remember those three things you wrote down. Because scientifically proven, when you're grateful, you can't also think of your worries at the same time. You eliminate them. And then the next one, number two, be present and intentional about every single thing you spend your time on. Pay attention. That's what I said. And then I said, this will help you notice your blessings and also to see God on your journey. The more intentional you are, the more present you are, the more alert you are. And then the, the last one, number three, is rest when you get tired, but don't quit. Don't quit. Just rest. Just like how Pastor Sinda said, the big ox, it retreats when it's in trouble, when it's over well, so that it can release the oil that's going to protect you from harm and danger. Rather retreat and go rest instead of just quitting. Now you're giving up your work, you're storming out of work because you just can't anymore. Next thing, you don't have petrol because you can't afford because you left your job out of a rage. Just retreat, rest, but 
but don't quit. And then it's, and then I wrote you in my notes under that point. Your training will, will bring some cuts, bruises, and fatigue, but those are strengthening you. Don't hold on to the pain and forgive who you need to forgive on the way. Keep going. Because in training, you get hurt. Today I got hurt because I was doing, um, God was training me there. So I got cuts and bruises and scratches and so those things are uncomfortable. And spiritually, we're going to get cuts and bruises. We're going to betray us gossip. We're going to get hurt along the way. But don't hold on to those things because what happens when you hold on to sweatiness, it ties you down and you stay there. Mm -hmm. You don't move forward. So let go, forgive, move on. That's what we do. And then the last I said three things, but it's actually four. The last one says, watch and pray like your life depends on it. Watch and pray like your life depends on it. This year, God is teaching me the importance of prayer as a born-again Christian. It's a need. It's not a luxury. You don't have time. We love it in a spiritual battle. There's no time to say, I don't have time to pray in my day. No. We make other things priorities, and that's just the facts. Yeah. We prioritize so many unimportant things that don't even add value to our life. Surely we can make time to pray. And I'm not saying make five hours and be alone in, in a special place. Play, pray where you are, and do try to prioritize time away from others so you can be with God and pray. So under that point, I said pay attention to the schemes of the enemy and know them. When we were... We started our fast together, and guess what the enemy did? He saw the unity, the praying, he saw the threat that we were, and guess what? We started arguing suddenly out of nowhere, silly things. We don't even now remember what we were arguing about, mm -hmm. but we were so angry and upset with each other, and then we realized, wow, he's really smart. He knows exactly what triggers me or what triggers you. <laughs> so when we're fighting, he's like, Ah, they're not praying. Yeah. So we need to pay attention and be watchful mm -hmm. of his schemes. Mm -hmm. Don't let people get under your skin. You know, someone, the, the enemy uses anyone. Like you can just, the security guard can now just make a remark to you that gets under your skin. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you can't enjoy church, but you're just thinking about it. Like, what is, how dare you say that? You know, it happened to me last weekend, and that's actually what got us into such a big yeah. fight. And the enemy smart guys, he studies us. And he doesn't even get marks for it, but he studies us day and night. He knows our triggers. And the last point is pray every day, not just some days, not just when you're in trouble and your world is collapsing. Pray to search for God, to know him, to hear his voice, and to have a relationship with him, as well as to make your requests known unto him. Don't need a perfect place to pray. You can just pray where you are. Jesus can meet you where you are, whether that's in the bathroom, when you're on the toilet, whether that's in the shower, when you're having dinner with, um, with your family, or when you're just alone, let your desk get work. He meets you where you are. And that's how we can incorporate prayer into our daily lives. And so, yeah, that's my message for today. I hope it encourages everyone. If you want, you can go and read the story of David in the, in the book of First Samuel from chapter 16. It's a very beautiful story. I'll never get over it. And thank you so much for listening, everyone. I hope that wasn't really long. That's me. I have all this part two. <laughs> yeah, so jumping on what um, my wife just said now, I believe after training comes blessings. So David was in training when he was um, being a shepherd to the sheep. And then the blessing was in, you know, in the kingdom and, you know, being a people. And I, I was reading the book of Joshua. I've been reading the book of Joshua. And what I realized is that a lot of times when we hear preaching or sermons about the promised land, it's very rare where the preacher or the person that gives the sermon speaks about how even when they enter the promised land, they had to fight to get um to get in like to get the promised land basically. So my title for jumping one is that blessings require work. And sometimes it's people we think that because they said it's a land of milk and honey, they won't left their finger. 
But if you read properly in the book of Joshua, it speaks about when they went around Jericho and the, the walls collapsed. When they went into Jericho, they had to fight. But if you read in chapter one, God promised that no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. I'll be with you as I was with Moses. But that was the promise and the blessing of God, saying that you will take over the kingdom, you will take over after you cross the, uh, the Jordan River, you will take over Jericho, after that you go and fight the Amorites, after that you go fight, you know, all the other kingdoms. But it took them several years in their blessing. And while they were in their blessing, because that was the promise then, they were still fighting. Yeah. So I just want to encourage you guys that a blessing doesn't mean that now you lift your, your legs, you resist. Yes. And if there's resistance, don't think it's not a blessing. Yeah. A blessing also has a resistance because we fight against the schemes of the enemy. So in the blessing, there is resistance, but it's still a blessing. And the other thing is that if you face <laughs> adversity, just know that at the end of adversity, there's a blessing. When David was being a shepherd and was being looked down on, and his father was not approved that he's going to be a leader, that was adversity. But at the end of the trade, there was a blessing. So that's what I wanted to do. I, I just wanted to encourage you guys that a blessing doesn't mean that there's no adversity or resistance. A blessing, there is adversity and there is resistance, but it's kind of a blessing because it's kind of Amen. Amazing. Wow. I just feel like I've had two doses of power. Amen. <laughs> so I don't know about other people what they want to say. I'm going to start picking on people. <laughs> I want to start from. I knew it. <laughs> We make it out of there, Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, this was very powerful. Thanks, guys. Really. Um, where you found, your, uh, found yourself, sorry, <laughs> uh, when you were without work, when you did online teaching, that's exactly where I am at this stage. And today, thank you, God, I got an in interview for wow. uh, online Oh. It's just an introduction. I still have to do demos and all of that, but I truly believe because I was also fasting for that, and that God is opening doors. And when God opens doors, nobody can close it. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we as a married couple have been going through a really rough couple of months. Yeah. financially you know, yeah. because it's been up and down and it was off work and you know and they honestly uh, what he said about resistance yeah. <laughs> yeah that that's so true because after after resistance there's a blessing but yeah. don't think that the enemy is going to stop attacking you it's going to continue but it's your responsibility to study the word to pray yeah. To put on the armor of God and protect yourself because someone else. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's definitely, you know, we tend to forget that we're actually in a war. Yeah. No. You're in a spiritual war and because you don't see it, you sometimes forget that the enemy is very clever mm -hmm. and he knows exactly where to attack you and where to which buttons to press. <laughs> and it, even we as a couple, as a married couple, feel it as well. You know, when we draw closer to God, you can know for certain there's going to be resistance mm -hmm. and he's going to try and like distract you. That's the biggest thing, the distractions that he tries to put on your heart. So yeah, everything that it was, this is just speaking, you can feel the Holy Spirit speaking, you know, mm -hmm. and with fasting, it's just amazing how, how much clearer you hear the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys. That was really like, I needed that. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
going to class. The best. <laughs> Some milk. No, I definitely haven't stayed with the fasting. I think. <laughs> <laughs> As you say with the fasting, it's I think your the resistance, the fasting, when you say, oh, but it doesn't really count. I can take a shortcut here, I can take a shortcut there. And it goes back to you with your so you're gonna do something, you do it properly. And I mean sometimes in my work, I'll do something and I'm like, oh, I'm not really happy with how the you know the whole. The customer has been full of nonsense and it's not working out and they want you to do something extra. And you feel like, well, I'm just going to do it, do it half, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then you start like, I can't live with myself doing it half. And, and if you do it half and you feel like it's going to bother you. Yeah. So you do it properly and you're like, okay, I, I'm, my side is clean. And you can take it, you know, with not even, not that you putting God to a test, but when you say, you know, you expect God to answer you, but you also, you're half fasted, you didn't really pray about it that much, you were distracted, and you said you were going to do that, and then you didn't really, and then, then you expect God to like, oh, but why don't I get my full result? So when you say, okay, well, I did my full result, I did all the work, I really put it all in, then you can honestly say, okay, I put an answer, I might not like the answer, mm -hmm. but I got an answer. Yeah. Whereas if you just like, hey. yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's not great. That's so true. Very much. Thank, thank you so oh, much. How about you gonna go again? <laughs> oh no, again. <laughs> go, 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 go again. Uh, I don't mind. No. Um, <laughs> all yeah. right. Um, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna ask uh, memory. Yeah, thoughts. No, thanks. Thanks for the words. Thanks for the sharing. Uh, your 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 heading saying in the training is it in the training? Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, guys, I forgot my phone at home. I just realized when I got out of the car, and my phone is my notepad. It's my Bible. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not gonna be distracted by that. <laughs> Yeah, so I wish, but I, is it recorded? No. Yeah, it is recorded. Yeah. 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 yeah, so basically you talk about in the training, you know, it reminded me of the word that I got when one uh, got into 2023, which is obedience, mm -hmm. you know. So for one to grow spiritually and mature, you need to be obedient because we are in training, you know. So what we want, what the church wants, what the national man wants, is not what the spirit man wants. There is always a conflict. And, and and you are looking like, really, God, is it you? Because sometimes it strips of yourself, you know, it strips of whom you think you are. And God says, you humble yourself. Humbling yourself means you forget about yourself. You take what I say you should do. And when you look at the way, the way is straight and clear. But because the way is not satisfying the flesh, the flesh, it's like we are arguing, going forth and back. Is it true? God, is it you? What are people going to say? What about my way? What about my family? What about, you know, all those things? So at the end of the day, you find yourself saying, God, yeah, I do understand, but, you know, mm -hmm. always there's but, but. So mm -hmm. thanks for the word and thanks for the encouragement, even the blessings. And with the blessing to add that, yes, there's resistance, there's all that. But the other thing that I realized, actually, that I got when my daughter graduated, after resistance, you know, she was on the edge of a, uh, a, uh, not a, uh, was that dropping out? Not, not dropping out of, the, of being conferred to the degree, but there was this resistance, one module that she had to write for the fourth time, oh. you know? So that's where we understood going down on our knees, you know, oh. going down on our knees. She had to get away by herself from God, who, who just uh, encouraged her that I've got this, 
you're gonna qualify, you know, you're gonna graduate. And then that, it, it, it happened fine, good, it was ooh But what God uh, put in me is that it's not the end. Don't relax because now you had a graduate daughter and then you relax. Continue to pray, continue to protect, uh, uh, because it's spiritual only. Continue to, uh, to pray and uh, speak blessings over her. Let her also pray for herself. And let us continue to be grateful. Daily, weekly, I just proclaim that, that God, we are grateful for all our people, you know. We are grateful that now she has a job. Daily. So I'm just encouraging us that even when we get our breakthroughs, may we go back to God again and say thank you because now you have been in a battle, there was resistance, you are tired, you are like, you got your breakthrough and you are like, wow, God is good and you cheat. <laughs> And that's why now the enemy comes, you know. So we don't give him a chance. He will come whatever way he will come, but he will not uh, 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 get through. Because now you are standing and you now tend to understand that why are we fighting? Whilst we are fasting, whilst we are praying together, this is the work of the enemy. Then you start to strengthen your, your, your prayer, you strengthen your faith, you strengthen your 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 belief in God, you know. So at the end of the day, it's 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 it's, it's, it's lifestyle, you know, yeah. that we have to understand and live with. Yeah, I can go on that. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, thanks thanks for the word. It's encouraging, and it's it's saying to one, run with God. Run with the waste, run with prayer, don't be tired. Mm -hmm. And when it says don't, 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 is it what don't, whatever, whatever, don't get weary yes. of doing good. Yeah, yes. yes. By believing in God, saving God, this is saving God, you know, because we're together. You are doing good. Don't be weary because issues of life can make you weary. So we thank God for that. Thank you. Amen. I'm gonna hand over to you, my sister. And then after that, I'm gonna hand over to Florence at one point two. Okay. Before I think God to be part of this, uh, my sister was telling me about talking. I was just laughing <laughs> until that campaign uh driven on to me. I started complaining. And you know, when your thoughts is there and there, you will forever complain. And then one week came to me in a lot of national part national government. And then I asked myself, why am I complaining? Then today, even now, I hear the testimony. People are struggling with job, people job. You are complaining about the things that you think went away. Why can't you pray for those things and then be grateful? Then I start to meditate upon the word of God. I talk to myself, you know, I am so blessed. And then what I have to do now, I have to humble myself before the Lord and then He will lift me up. Then that thing encourages me, even if when I go to work, I pray for those things that were troubling me. And then I got the strength, and then you know what I want to say. Sometimes we forgot our weapon. Our weapon is the word of God. Our weapon is the prayer. Our weapon is the worship. But at that time, you don't know the devil is trying to, you know, use your mind, you know. So this is a good thing to be together to encourage each other, so that we are not going to, you know, go down. Yeah. As the Banaundi, we have to take the roads. When I'm down, you pray. I speak even on the message group. When I read the verses and then I started to be encouraged and then those things gave me the strength and gave me like, I'm not at home. I'm with God. It left so to see If I'm not here, it's because of work, but I know you are with us in prayer. Thank you.
We all go to Julio and think it's all of us. Glory be unto you. Oh, just, just, yeah, just praise. Yeah. Because the truth that I've said here is actually one of us can start to help our own. Honestly, I just love that part of it. God chooses the small things to, to despise the big things. Mm -hmm. And as I went in to try to check what else you would think about that flower and oil, which was the last. Mm -hmm. sure. You think about the word that she just said now, what he said now. I think it's bread of life, bread of life, not just today, life. Mm -hmm. It's something that you will go and eat. Time again, and wow. it's yeah, he takes small things and I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, yeah. <laughs> maybe let me hold it. With. Yes, it's really like I say, I just feel like crazy. Get how the good is feel and what we need to do is just to give this. Not just to be here, us, maybe we need to do a small thing. Of we here, but we just look at some of the things that are already here for God. Holy Spirit is in all of us. To remind us, let us not ignore when He speaks. I always say He speaks very gently, He's not harsh, and you make a choice. Yes. When it's or you make a tab of all the people, yeah, I go. Say, hey. <laughs> yeah, so this is so wonderful. And I just love the gathering. I think we always this place. And to be amongst one another, I definitely, it's not the same as. <laughs> <laughs> Is and I'm giving you more closer. I can lean on her, I can just cry, and yeah. cry, and then she will call me. But when I'm alone in my house, <laughs> you're on the screen, <laughs> you get around me. But thank God for this thought and thought help us to do what He has called us to do and make this spread this very way that we just shared now. They yeah, just go everywhere. Amen. 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 Um, hi guys. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Just wow. Yeah. Um, what? I wasn't going to talk. <laughs> I was just here like a few hours ago. <laughs> uh, and um, but I'm so grateful that I did come because um, thank you for that such a good um, in season. Um, and I think it's it's just so good to be under that kind of encouragement because at least sometimes you can run because you know that you want to run. Um, but running while people are cheering you on is just something else. And it's not like it's not just like smoke and it's so like. And you can do it. It's go. The Lord has a plan for your life. Yeah, you know, like He's training you. Go. There's a blessing on the on the other side of that. So, um, I think on on the latter end of last year, I think a lot of this encouragement is that you start that you're kind of carrying what you came in from last year. Um, but I think is and it, it almost feels like. I still have to deal with this, but it feels like you change my perspective. Yeah. That it's just it's training. You just yeah. need more training. That's really it. You just yeah. got to keep on training. And, um, the more you train, the stronger you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thinking the Lord has done great things to that I'm like, I show you I'm strong now. <laughs> but you're like, no, you can be strong. I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
um, and then we talk about the plot. But um, there's a song we used to sing and um, and follow in my that's negative. Um, I think it's Don Green. I'm not sure, but it goes. It's I think in this year that when we thought we were lost, we burst, and when we were weak, we were strong, yeah. and when we were poor, we were rich. Yeah. We're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's all for us. Now it's your time. Okay, that's a big one. Then how you should you be good. <laughs> okay, um, um, well, also myself, firstly, I didn't want to come, you know, the, the devil was easy with me, I was like, I'm just doing the line. <laughs> so, <laughs> then, it was, I think, around part of my season, I was watching something on TV, and then he started buffering. I was like, ah, that's my kick. <laughs> 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 I'm the Lord has spoken. <laughs> I must go. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. I guess, um, and I'm grateful, actually. I'm so glad that I came. Yes. Because, honestly, we are going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And we need this. <laughs> So even the words said that we are hearing and I feel like now we are really in training, like today, we are so, the English word, in a hurry for the blessing yeah. and then we, 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 we focus on the other things that don't really matter, we are in a hurry. Yeah? Even today, I went to my superior guest because I was looking for blame. <laughs> so, I was also laughing his night. So, you my word, girl, are you talking to me? <laughs> so, and uh, sometimes we also say so hard. Uh, <laughs> we focus so much on, 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 on our, our challenges, our tribulations, our trials. And then now I'm thinking, God was probably just chilling there, like, get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Going there, trying to handle and take <laughs> And I'm here. And you keep saying that he's a gentle God. He just wants us to be mighty. And then he will do the thing. Let us enjoy this process of training. And yeah. in due time, I guess the blessing will come. I'm yeah. not going to say much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. That's Thank you. Wow, you guys were all on fire from the beginning to the end. You were all on point. Uh, I'm just going to share my point as well. Uh, the weirdest thing was when I was thinking about the in person thing, it scares me because I've been comfortable with you online. <laughs> so the in person thing was just so scary. What are you going to feed this feet? What are you going to do this? Um, God, what's happening? And, you know, is my wife going to make it on time? What are you going to do this is that? So I had all the things in my head, and and I, I had a, a soft voice from God said, um, relax. This is my stuff, not your stuff. So I didn't pray so hard like that. No. I just said, God, it's your stuff. <laughs> you know, and, and then I remember very well, and I was like, I slept late because I was scared. I slept on time, I was scared. 
out of this infested thing because it's a year thing. We tried to do it in 2022, didn't it? So it's scared me. So I was poor. No, I wasn't praying, guys. Don't, don't even think I was praying. I was just sitting around the TV doing this. I didn't know what I was doing. And then what I did before I went to bed, so I like, God, it's your problem. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. I'm going to program. I have to wake up and uh, take the, the, the car cover off. And I think I got to bed and I was still awake. And then I, I found myself eventually I slept. And when I would step, my wife moved up and then it's time to take off the cover. Like an hour so. And then I took off the cover. And then still, I was just only thinking about it because what's going to happen? And it's scary. And then finally, as we share you, we are in training. And God starts speaking when you guys share your story, your story. Because I, I, personally, I was going through that about last year. It was the hardest in business. Money was not coming. It was very hard. And you try this online thing, you try that online thing, you try that, and then. And you think about the employment last in five years, uh, they don't take those, they take less than 35. Now I'm 40. I'm thinking, oh God, what's going on? How am I going to do this? I'm still relevant in this economy. What am I going to do? You know, all that happening. And what God kept on saying to me was, relax, I got you. The wisdom. And the only thing that was the most greatest. I would say that personally that I've got besides business losing my money was this. Wow. I got family. Yeah. I got people I can cry to and say, hey guys, pray. Mm-hmm. You know, I love people like pray because I can just be a friend because they're going to pray for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to pray for yourself many times. I feel like a hook sometimes <laughs> when I get to pray about my stuff. And then that's me going to tell you to stop praying for myself. You know, that's very And then things were happening. I'm like, no, it's happening. Yes, thank you. Praise God. It's happening. But no, God, please. What about me? <laughs> what about me? You know, so I have no thing. And this is what God said to me as you are sharing. And then uh, God led me to the scripture. And I ended up reading almost the whole chapter. I'm reading 1 Peter 5, verse 4. And I read through to verse 11. It says, then when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the victor's crown of glory that will never fade away. Okay, that's why you have highs and lows of a believer. It's a way. I'm in training. That's what you said. Maybe that's why I'm not there. And in similar ways, as far in, in a similar way, you young people must submit to the other and all you must come to serve in humanity for the sake of each other, because God opposes the other people, but gives the least to them. Yeah. We've got a lot of elders in our families, and we've got no comments. She's my aunt. You know, we've got my brother. She's my aunt. At times, she speaks very crazy. And I'm like, yeah, you said this. You remember you said that? I'm even there. You know, if you, if you, if you got my sister here, and she, you know, she, 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 she doesn't want to listen to me. To people coming to us, don't step. And I'm like, I haven't done that yet, God. I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know? Morning, so, Molly, Molly would say, um, guys, I've got this prayer point. I want to pray. And it's so good now to be vulnerable and share things that I think maybe I should share them. I should discuss with my wife first. She's telling me, I'm like, oh, Molly, you're telling me to pray for you for this. You told you to ask to pray for me for my problems. <laughs> you know, but anyway, I pray and God does things and she won't like, hey, your brother, it happened. I'm like, okay. So that alone, it kind of put me in a position to say, okay, God, I've got now this around me. And I'm learning a lot from you guys. You know, and then verse six says, therefore, how do you serve under the mighty hand of God? So that in a proper time, he may have sought you. I think. My greatest challenge was pride. Yeah. I'm a sort of man. All the time. That's right. Well, yeah, so that's, that was my challenge. And you kind of like, I'm a man. You know, I have things I'm not going to share. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm supposed to do this. You know, and 
I found myself crying a lot in my wife's lap <laughs> because uh, God is shaping this zero man to be something of us to be to the Christ life, to be a child of God. I've led to be vulnerable to 22 and to the same was the you know, I found myself praying more. Uh, my time of prayer during this fasting, it's so funny, we finish our fasting on the 24th of December, 20 days in my life. And then now this fasting comes over. And God says, go again and fasting. I'm like, ah, it's fine. I'm just going to hang on. It came through another group as well. And God said, go for it. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's fine. I'm going to send everyone into it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Everyone's going to do it. Because <laughs> yeah. um, it, it's not easy to do what God calls you to do, but mm -hmm. doing it always has a reward. Yes. Yeah. So definitely, in a proper time, I believe God is going to lead us all around. Yes. I believe that in all my heart. You know, and what you said, tell me that we want to be to God. And then verse 7 comes to God. Show your worries on him because he cares for you. Yes. I remember the message. And she said that be comfortable when you become comfortable. I'm like, ah, no, why? You know, because we love comfort. You know, and I can remember after the 8.30 service, 10.30 was for me to get sweaty and just worship God. You know, I just said, you know what, this is me, God, I'm going to worship you, you know. So um, I think it, it, everything that is said here, also you emphasize the point of five, verse eight, you're saying you must be alert, pay attention to what's happening, you know, and recognize that the enemy is up to get you. Yes. you know? So verse eight says, be clear-minded and alert. You're open and the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour, you know, resist him and be a fan in faith because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of stuff. I was listening to that as you guys are sharing. My brothers and sisters are going through the same thing I'm going through. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, that encourages me a lot. Yeah. And this is the part that I enjoy the most. After you have suffered, I hope you get Keep that anyway. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of grace who called you by the Messiah Jesus to his eternal glory will restore you, establish you, strengthen you, and support you. Power belongs to him forever. Because I feel it touches uh, my heart directly and personally. You look at the things you said in terms of the training, you know, what everyone else has shared, and I'm like, oh God, the complaining, crying, <laughs> <out." laughs> And I've come to actually learn, I feel like this um, message today is more of a confirmation because I've come to learn uh, that instead of com complaining about things, say the opposite. You know, and stay positive and talk to others about me a lot because I find myself sometimes like, I know it's weird, but I think in a cartoonish way where I just see myself out getting out of my body and I'm like, okay, what are you doing? You know, and I get to question myself. And I'm not saying that mentally, I actually literally speak to myself. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so what happens is um i'm thinking like okay god when something happens that forces you to either say negative things about yourself and you're thinking it but the holy spirit guides you the other way or he shows you like actually this is what or say maybe i got in an argument with my husband and like this you know, how can you even, you know, you have to be logical and it, it doesn't make sense. Why can't you see? You know, and then God is like, actually, look at it this way. And then I get to realize, that, oh, now I see, you know. And for me, that is so 
en religion. That for me is so profound because when at times I get to my zone where I get out of my body to be like, what happened? I look at myself like, how come you're not under depression yet? Why are you still okay? And in all the times I look back and I'm like, gosh, God, you've literally been carrying me everything. I've been in the deepest way. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to come out of this. I have very bad thoughts, very weird thoughts. But God himself gets to minister to me. And in most times, it's through conversations like this. And I'm like, okay, God. I used to think this way, but, and I remember the other time, I'm just going to jump on this, as for me, that was like the biggest highlight. I think uh, Tamden and Tawu, they visited our house, and we're actually just having a conversation around the Holy Spirit and just how intimidating the devil can be, and it's more like a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. And since that, because I felt that, but I didn't have like the, the words for it, yeah. and we like literally just put it on in action and in perspective, I was like, okay. And from then on, I could literally just see and be alert when certain things that I don't know what starts happening. I'm like, oh, I see you, Scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Now I get to be bold enough not to hide away when things are tough and not to speak negatively when it's quite obvious. You know, you're speaking the facts and not the truth. Yes. So mm -hmm. differentiating that for me has been remarkable. And I think this year, starting off with the fast and all of that has really been a challenge, but it, it's really beneficial because I've, I've seen a lot of breakthroughs, uh, especially in people around, like you hear stories, people say, you know, we couldn't have kids and now we're expecting, you know, I've been looking for work for the longest and I just got an interview, you know, you know? so such um, testimonies for me, they are very, they built me up and it's like a reminder constantly to say, wow, God, you, you really are listening, you know, I know you say you're listening and you hear and you answer and your, your answers are always yes and amen, but to really experience it and see it, it's just so emotional for me. I think at some point we were at an all night prayer and people just shared their testimonies and how um, they got delivered or their family members got delivered and all of those. So it's just, I don't know, it's almost like I just put myself in their shoes and I absorb all the pain they had. And from that, the joy that comes to me because people, Likes or meets a lot of uh, saving is more grateful basically. Like if you're at the lowest lowest, then yeah. you're saved from that. You're more grateful than someone who's just superficially like oh, yeah. you did it. So I think earlier we we're also just discussing how God can just train you and let you sit there, you know. And you can either complain and cry about it, or you can look up to Him to say, "Well, God, thank you." for yes. taking me through this training. Thank you for taking me through this training. Mm -hmm. And there's this uh, devotion that we would, would read at home every morning. And there's this little part when I'm saying, sharing this, it just comes to mind where it says that um, it's such a blessing that believers, when you, you are praying, you're not focusing on whatever you're having faith on to be visual. And I didn't understand it at first. But then you go deep on what is faith. It is evidence on its own. Mm -hmm. So the more you have faith on something that you can't see, the more closer you get to God because you are relying on him to pray for him. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just so wonderful to see just such a faith-filled family that we can literally lean on. Like, honestly, there's nothing you can, like, call mom moves at any hour. She'll pick up, show that you cry on. You know, so for me, that is everything. And to have this closeness and this tight knit is just a blessing. So praise God for that. Should we get the people on that? Sure. All right. The time, the time is, uh, it's, yeah. has been flying. So I'm just going to maybe um, allow people online to 
to say a few words. Um, um, I see you've got my banner. And we've got Matilo. As I name you, so you, you start you start speaking. Mavena, Matilo, Kumalos, uh, Tanu. I'm not gonna call you by English name. <laughs> Masesi. Uh, you guys can uh, yeah, can uh, share your thoughts quickly. We are out of time. I think they're gonna be on the left. Unmute yourself, please. I'm here. I'm not sure if my okay. I see my pen is there. I'll let him speak first. Okay, go ahead. We are listening. Oh, okay. It's Matelu speaking. Yes. Um good evening, um uh, family. Um, it's, yes, I'm just, you know, let, you know, I was, I'm sitting here thinking how this is not a coincidence, you know, the, stre the strength of this family that every time we meet on Wednesday, somehow it's a, it's relevant to exactly what one really needs to be hearing, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, as Samuel was speaking, I, I wanted to just say, which I'm putting it as a joke, but I, yesterday as I was running, I literally experienced what it means to fall down and stand up and dust yourself and continue running. So when I came back, the kids were like, what, did you walk? I was like, no, I listened to my body parts and everything was intact. So I continued running and I came home, <laughs> which is really funny. But it, I guess it's really literally what it means to, you know, that we fall down, we have to stand up, dust, dust ourselves and continue. Um, but, you know, the, the, you know the, the issue of training and what Timlin was sharing, it's just been a very, a very strong, you know, um, message that I think one needed to hear. Um, you know, I've just been going through stuff at work, but I mean, I just wanted to share the most important testimony of what God has been good to me work-wise. You know, the past two years I've been overachieving, like literally in a very, very big way, right? And, um, you know, though, you know, I sit back most of the time and I look at how, you know, certain areas of one's life might not be what one thinks it should be. But I must say, work-wise, it's really, really been amazing. And this year, like 2022 going into 2023 very 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 well and you know towards the end of last year i mean in november to be exact i was actually even talking to the lady at the office to say you know what as much as i appreciate the hard work you're putting in you've delivered all my orders and now i've got zilch going into q1 2023 and now i was panicky you know because it's it's a very stressful place to be to start at zero you know january starts and you've got nothing you know so three weeks it took three weeks and I got orders that actually got me to halfway through 2023 already. <laughs> so God has been good um, in that area. And you know, it's one thing I keep on showing gratitude for, you know. And, you know, though there's this and that at work, which I'm trying not, very hard not to complain about, you know, I always fall back to see, you know what, if, if, if there's anything, I don't think I, I even have the right to complain, you know, I don't, I, I don't even have that right, I should just be showing gratitude to what God has been doing to me. So it's just that, you know, as I was listening to all the testimonies, which were very powerful, and, you know, it's, you know, I guess we, I am at the level where I'm like, you know what, you know, one needs to share also the, you know, the positive stuff that was, that has happening in one's life as well, you know. So basically, that's the short message for me today, from me today. And thanks a lot for everyone else's testimonies. And um, and it's very, it's, it's amazing and very fulfilling to be part of this family. And uh, everyone must have a great night. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, next. <laughs> Mabena. Hi, family, how are you guys? Hi, Hi Mabena, how are you? Um, okay. Um, I'm recovering. I've, I've not been well, but God is good. Um, I can see progress. It's been so nice uh, sitting here and being fed. You know, sometimes you just need to sit and 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 being fed. And I'm so grateful for the word uh, tonight, uh, family. It's 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 in it's a wedding season. You know. Um, um, someone used to say, we know the score, you know, 
whatever we are going through, uh, whether it be health, whether it be finance, whether it, any challenges, we know the score. For the word says we are in Christ, we are more than conquerors in Christ. So we know the score. The outcome is always in our favor. The word says all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. Whatever season we are in, the score is in our... It's like playing a game uh, when you know already that you are going to win, you know? Even if the opponent attacks you, uh, even if they dribble you, but you know the score is that you have won. You know, and 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 the word from Tamlin that you know, whatever season we are going through, you know, we are in training for something else. You know, it's so it, it's so encouraging to us. You know, that the challenges that we are facing are actually shaping our faith, shaping our patience for something better that the Lord has for us. And without uh, uh, further ado, family, I would like to thank you guys for the word and to thank you for gathering, you know. The word of God in the book of Malachi says, in those days, those who love the Lord spoke to one another and a book of remembrance was written for them in heaven. So whatever we are saying now, God, He will remember us on the basis of what we are saying today, and God will reward us for that. I think over to you guys. Thank you so much. Over to you guys. Happy to yourself. All right, all right. I'm going to move to you, Tando, and then I'll wrap it up. Tando. Oh, Kumalo. Yes, yes good. Evening. And then Kumalo will go after you, Tando. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. No, thank you very much for the word of God. It has encouraged me. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was also praying, just seeking the word from the Lord for 2023. And he gave me Ephesians. Um, to, um, to verse 20, which says, To him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can think or imagine, according to the power that is at work within us. So, God was just saying, I should we should expect as his children the best from him. As long as we draw closer to him, he will draw closer to us. And you know what we are doing today, we are drawing closer to him, and he's drawing closer to us. It's a, it's a a training process. That's why he also says in um, the Galatians 4 verse 19, if I'm not, Ephesians 4 verse 19, if I'm not mistaken, um, it says, but he says until Christ is formed. So it's a process. That is why we always go closer to him. That's why we always have this type of fellowship because it helps us to grow. It encourages us. It makes us realize that we are not alone. Um, in this journey and yeah no thank you very much even for the testimonies i've been encouraged this evening god bless you all right thank you so much Tando. um i'm gonna uh, ask you about kumalo kumalo family uh you guys share your thoughts quickly and then we can wrap it up thank you thank you Philip. thank you uh i I thank God for also I'm recovering from yesterday. I, was, I, was, I had some tonsils and then I, I slept very difficult yesterday. I have to consult the doctor today. That's why my talk is a bit disturbed. But uh, I think we, we thank God for the message, a very powerful message and uh, relevant and, and parent for today. The season that we're going through. So, but uh, training, and, and I was asking myself, when you are you 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 go through training, you need the the, the tools for the for the training, and like the other brother indicated, there's always an outcome. But in training, sometimes some do fail and some pass. 
but we are very fortunate as, 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 as the children of God because our tools are like the word of God, uh, praise and a prayer, which will always or which always take us or see us through all the adversities that we're going through. But the, the, this, the very same training that God subject us to or the pros that we're subjected to is to fine tune us uh, to be uh, able to withstand the enemy and we are tested but at the end of the day as we we go out we go out much stronger we thank you for the weight and then uh, like the other uh, uh, attendees indicated that it is uh, it is building us because as we meet we are also uh, encouraged and hopeful thank you very much from the kumaros all right, uh, thank you so much, everybody. I'm just going to wrap it up uh, with prayer. Shall we just stand quickly? Um, let us pray. Just tell me the little bit. Thank <laughs> To a with us, 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 Okay. All right, guys, we come to the end. Let's nipple those who can nipple and uh, those, yeah, we, we're done. We're done. And then, bye, everybody online. I get to say bye. Bye, thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. Hope to see you next time in person next month. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>